So I'm uh, very excited to introduce our next uh, two speakers. Um, they're a dynamic duo of visiting uh, scholars in pituitary neuroendocrinology. Our first is Dr. Julie Silverstein, who's from Washington University in St. Louis. Uh, she did her training um, uh, initially at NYU for college and then medical school at Drexel, residency at Pittsburgh, and then did a fellowship at WashU in St. Louis where she stayed. Uh, she is the medical director of the pituitary center there. Uh, I had the pleasure of visiting there, as did Dr. Noctegal, a few weeks ago for a, a symposium much like this one um, that was just phenomenal. They are a very, very busy and experienced center, as is the Massachusetts General Hospital. So um, we are very honored to have uh, Dr. Silverstein here, who's going to talk to us about growth hormone deficiency. Julie. Thank you, and I'd like to thank Gabby and John for inviting me here. It really is an honor to be sharing the podium with them, with the other faculty here at the Pituitary Center, Dr. Noctegal, and it's because of excellent pituitary centers such as here at USC and MGH that I was able to lay the foundation for and develop a pituitary center at WashU. So first I'd like to start just by a raise of hands. How many endocrinologists do we have in the audience? Okay. And then how many of you have prescribed growth hormone for adults with growth hormone deficiency? Okay, so just a few. I feel that I've been given kind of a daunting task here to address the um, treatment and outcomes of growth hormone deficiency. Unlike adrenal deficiency and hypothyroidism, um, there's a lot of controversy um, about management. Um, there have been, I think, hundreds, maybe even more studies on it, and despite that, it's still not clear exactly what we should be doing. Here are my conflicts of interest. They won't in, uh, interfere with this talk. So I'll go over um, the consequences of growth hormone deficiency, the benefits, the risks of growth hormone replacement, the side effects of growth hormone replacement. And just a review for most of the, uh, everyone in the audience. The pituitary makes growth hormone. It's stimulated by growth hormone releasing hormone, ghrelin, stress, inhibited by somatostatin. And it has many effects in the body, including effects on lipid metabolism, the cardiovascular system, muscle, bone. So what are the consequences? Um, a lot of them are nonspecific, but we do know that it's associated with central obesity, a decrease in lean body mass, decreased muscle strength, a decrease in bone density, a decrease in the quality of life, an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, dyslipidemia, and possibly an increased uh, mortality. And I'll kind of go through each of these and try and